For this recording, I'm going to show you how to determine the interval of conversion of the following power series summation of minus 1 power n times 3 power n over n plus 1 times x plus 1 with power n from n equals 0 to infinity. To, inter to determine the interval conversion, let's recall the content. Okay. Suppose we have power series given by a n times x minus a power n, and in this case, a is the center. Then what we do is look at the ratio of a n plus 1 over a n, and absolute value. Suppose the limit as n approach infinity is l, then we know that if L is a number greater than 0, we know that L could be infinity. If that case, then the radius of convergence is 0, and the CV converge only at x equal to a. If L equals 0, then the CV converge for all x, and the radius of convergence is infinity. If L greater than 0, then the CV converge for x minus a less than 1 over L, and the radius of convergence is 1 over L. In terms of picture, if A is the center and R is the radius of convergence, then we know that the CV is a converge on the interval from A minus R to A plus R. Now let's go back to the problem and then we look at the solution. The problem is R over A n will be minus 1 power n, 3 power n over n plus 1. So taking the Ratio test. So I I going to do here. So a n here is minus one power n, three power n over n plus one, and a n plus one is equal to minus one power n plus one, three power n plus one over n plus one plus one. All right, n change n plus one n plus two now. So the ratio of n plus one over a n in this case is equal to minus 1 power n plus 1, 3 power n plus 1, over n plus 2, divided by a n means times n plus 1, minus 1 power n, 3 power n. And then we will see that a lot of cancellation. For example, 3 power n and 3 power n are cancelled, left with a 3. Minus 1 power n and minus 1 power n also cancel left with minus 1. So, in the end, this is equal to minus 1 times 3 times n plus 1 over n plus 2. Now, taking the absolute value, a n plus 1 over a n equal to 3 times n plus 1 over n plus 2. And what is this equal to as n approach infinity? We know this is 3 because this is 3 times 1 plus 1 over n times 1 plus divided by 1 plus 2 over n, then we divide everything by n, the matter and denominator n, and no, as n approaches infinity, this goes to 3, as n approaches to infinity, right? This is approaching, let me write a few more steps here, so 3 times 1 plus 0 over 1 plus 0, which is 3, as n approaches infinity. And this number is called L. In the theorem, result is called L. So the radius of conversion is equal to 1 over L. Notice that L is always positive and R is always positive. Okay, is R equal to 1 over L? So it's 1 over 3. Therefore, the interval of conversion now Based on, we know that, okay, not the interval conversion yet, we know that the power series will converge, right, the power series will converge for our power series is, is power series x plus 1. So it will converge for absolute value of x plus 1 less than 1 r, which is 1 third. R here is one third. And notice the center, basically you just say that we know that the center is, is minus one. And then move to the right by a distance one third. 
move to the left where this one third and you got these two endpoints and this means that endpoint is x plus one between one third and minus one third so x minus one you get minus two third so x minus minus one, one third minus one and minus four over three so the endpoint is minus four over three to minus two over three having said that now we're going to test the endpoint so testing the endpoint now endpoint are minus two third and minus four over three so let's test the endpoint so test the endpoint so in this case testing the endpoint so when x equal to minus four over three let's see what will happen then the power series becomes summation of m from zero to infinity minus one power n three power n m plus one x plus one power n put x equal to minus three quarter minus four over three inside there minus four over three plus one raised to power n and this will become summation of n from zero to infinity plus one power n three power n n plus one minus one over third power n and this will become m from zero to infinity minus one power n three power n n plus 1, minus 1 power n, 3 power n, and you will find that there are some cancellation, 3 power n, 3 power n cancel, minus 1 power n or minus 1 power n is just 1, because j minus 1 or minus 1 is 1, so this is summation from n to 0 to infinity, 1 over n plus 1. Now this is in fact a harmonic series, because this is in fact, this is a P series, P equal to 1. Alright? So which is actually 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2, 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 and so on. And we know that this series is divergent. Okay? We call it a harmonic series. Now, let's look at another endpoint. The other endpoint is when x equal to minus 2 over 3. So when x equal to minus 2 over 3, then the power series becomes summation of n from 0 to infinity minus 1 power n, 3 power n, n plus 1, x plus 1 power n equal to I see put n equal to minus two third. So the minus two third plus one power n. This will become n from zero to infinity minus one power n, three power n, n plus one, one third power n. Now after cancellation, this P series will become an alternating series. And we know that this series is convergent by alternating series test. So overall, the interval of convergent must include minus two over three. All right. So this is included. This must be included because it's convergent. The series is convergent, whereas x equal to a minus 4 over 3 you find that because the series is divergent so this is excluded therefore the interval of convergent now we can conclude interval of convergent initially we have x between minus 4 over 3 and minus 2 over 3 and we know that we can include minus 2 over 3 exclude minus 4 over 3 Right? So we can write in this grade minus 4 over 3 in interval notation. Right? Interval notation. And that is the end of this recording.